About a week ago, the game director of the upcoming Jedi Survivor, Stig Asmussen, sat down with the IGN interviewer and spent 40 minutes talking about everything Jedi Survivor. In this video, I'm going to condense down the original interview and give you all of the most valuable and necessary information, along with some of my personal insights. While a lot of the information within the interview has been talked about before, a lot of exciting news surrounding the game has been announced or elaborated on. The interviewer opens up by asking Stig Asmussen, and what is it like having to ask for more time to work on the game? Stig replies that it wasn't very difficult because they had strong reasoning for delaying the game, which he then goes into detail about here. It was clear to us that if we wanted to hit, you know, the quality mark that we wanted to hit and uh, get it as bug free as possible, that more time was needed. Asmussen truly believes that Jedi Fallen Order was a smash hit, and it would be foolish for their team to abandon what made the last game so successful. Honestly, given the fact that Jedi Survivor performed better than anticipated both critically and commercially makes this a no-brainer. The two of them continue on discussing some of the more intricate and minute details of what goes on into the creation of a AAA game. And while I found a lot of it to be quite interesting, I didn't think it needed to be mentioned in this video about Jedi Survivor news, so I decided to leave it out. Overall, the interview was good and I would suggest watching it. But that's of course after you finish watching this video, right? Because of, you know, my stellar comedy, right? Right guys? The interviewer then goes on to ask if they had any plans to make a sequel to Jedi Fallen Order before that game was even released. Asmussen has this to say. Yeah, we were already talking about the second game. We are I mean, frankly, we were talking beyond. Um, yeah. And th these are conversations that, you know, when we're breaking this story with Lucasfilm, it's like, well, where are we gonna go with the second game? While this isn't really an unexpected answer from Asmussen, he essentially confirms that while working on the first game, the idea of creating a trilogy was in mind. This is a great sign because he also claimed they had a basis of where they wanted the story to go. This honestly makes me think about the sequel trilogy and how they kind of just made The Force Awakens and then two other movies just kind of popped out with no real overarching story that made sense. Versus if they would have just planned it out from the beginning and the overall plot would have made much more sense and been way more effective. A small part of me just dies inside every time I think about the sequels. Continuing on, the interviewer asked this question. Is there is there anything uh, about Jedi Fallen Order that you wish you could go back and change, or is that just what the sequel is for? Things like quick travel to the game. One big negative Mini had to the first game was how fast travel was simply not a thing. After traveling across a confusing planet to do your mission, you then had to find your way back. And personally, for some planets, I enjoyed this because I got to explore them more and find mini bosses and cool things like that, right? But planets like Dathomir had me skedaddling to get out of there as fast as I possibly could. Despite the fact that Asmussen claims the developers were against the idea in Fallen Order, they are not completely open to changing their mind to appease the audience. Thankfully, fast travel will now be in Jedi Survivor, giving the players more opportunities. While we don't exactly know how fast travel will work, we do know that to some extent it will be within the game. Asmussen was then asked a very important question. What was priority one heading into Jedi Survivor? Customization. One feature that was gravely missing from the first game was how there was little to no customization. I mean, the most you could do was just like throw on a little poncho and then you just had to call it a day and you can maybe, you know, put like a sticker on BD1 or something. That was about it, right? Thankfully, throughout this interview, the game director really makes sure to tell the audience that they're really focused on customization within Jedi Survivor. They're aware that it was not the best in the last game and they're trying to fix it to their best ability. So frankly, that is a very exciting thing for me. Now, that is pretty much everything I have to say about this interview interview. If you want to go learn more about Jedi Survivor, go check out this video right here. And if you enjoyed the video, it would mean a lot if you subscribed and left a like. All right, guys, have a great one. Bye, everybody.